Let's do this. Hmm. Let's do this. All right. Time to feed the viewers. I know they're going to be like, uh, what happened to you? Hmm. Well, let's see here. I had a, uh, had a sound, sound problem I had to fix. I had a sound problem I had to fix. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This one, this month, Creative Lab speakers. They were creating a problem. I recorded a video this morning and I couldn't hear anything. So, good thing I, good thing I had a backup, a backup system just in case. Yep. So yeah. Anyway, got you guys covered up. Now, let's get down to business here. Okay. Let's see what do we got. All right. Let's see. Uh, Linux. Oh, by the way, hello, viewers. Another beautiful day. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. <laughs> Excellent. What? All right. Look. It says here, uh, Linux removing an outdated, insecure uh, Microsoft USB network protocol that st that's still on Windows. And it says, uh, Greg uh, Cora uh, Hartman, a fellow at the Linux Foundation, Looks ready to finally disable USB RAN, uh, I mean RN DIS protocol driver once for once and for all. And interestingly, Hartman has wanted to move the RAN, RN disk bit uh, from Linux for some time now. And the initial proposal was made back in November 2022 on October 23rd. And it says now, just over two years later, on December 23rd, 2024, the commit has finally been pushed again in the message accompanying in its Hartman explain how this ancient Windows XP era Microsoft protocol is no longer necessary and it also makes the system insecure and vulnerable to threats, he wrote. He said uh, the Microsoft RN, RN DIS protocol is as design insecure and vulnerable on any system that uses it with untrusted hosts or devices because the protocol is uh, impossible to make secure just disable all RN disk driver to prevent anyone from using them again Windows only needs to needs this needed this for XP and newer system Windows system older than that can use normal USB class protocol instead which do not have these problems. Android has had this disabled for many years, so uh, there should not be any real system that still needs this. And then it says you can find the commit here on the LKML uh, public inbox. It says for those who may not be familiar, it says the R R N disk or remote driver interface specification is a bus independent message protocol for Ethernet. Uh, network device and I mean Ethernet network device on dynamic plug-and-play uh, bus like USB uh, 1394 Bluetooth and InfiniBand. This standardized approach means that a set of host drivers can support any number of network devices via USB. As mentioned above, Microsoft did uh, debuted the spec back. In the Windows XP days, and it's still present, and um, on the on the supported Windows 10 and 11, including the latest version 24H2. Fortunately, though, the RN disk driver does not automatically install on Windows 10 and 11. On related notes, if you're curious, Windows Windows 11 24H2 only support version 68. I mean, version 6.8. Nine. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. What, now, so so, what is a uh, what is a uh, NDIS? Okay. It says here uh, in Windows NDIS uh, standard for a network driver interface specification, which is Microsoft standard defining how network de device drivers communicate with operating system, while R and this means remote NDIS. Uh, it's, uh, Essentially, a protocol that allows uh, devices like doggles to act as a virtual network adapter by communicating with host computer using the NDIS frame effectively and create a virtual Ethernet connection over a different interface like USB. 
you know, for the R and this nice, uh, it uh, eliminates the need for hardware vendors to write an NDIS a mini port device driver for a, for a network device attached to the USB bus remote NDIS accomplish this by defining a bus independent message and set a description of how this message set operates over the USB. So that should help you. Not now you now you get an understanding of what this article is really about. Now where was I at before I was rudely interrupted here? Okay, let's see. Where where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Whoops. Let's see. Oh, here you go. Whoops. Yeah. <clears throat> sorry for the sorry for the technical difficulties, though. But it happens. Uh, let's see. Now, where are we? Where are we now? Uh, got seven comments. Seven. Oops. Got seven comments. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Says here. Uh, uh, seven comments. Uh, C, uh, C Prime said this, so it's not actually present, just available and would increase vulnerability if installed. I wonder why Microsoft is so slow at seriously fixing security issues. It should be blocked, not available. Then Johnny said, uh, there are devices that still use the protocol for Windows, like the check scanner as they count as network devices. Then Reg said this, speaking as someone uh, reasonable for a hardening uh, workstation, why is it always the bank that requires uh, insecure things like IE11 slash activist uh, check scanner? And then Adrenaline said this, incompetence. <laughs> and, then, and then Southern Patriot said, more like, more like profit margins, replacing old system costs money, resource, I briefly worked in the IT department for a bank many years ago. We were using NT and OS2 back then. They probably still are in some applications. Then Bob said this, uh, if you're curious, Windows 11 24H2 supports NDIS version 6.89. Our NDIS and NDIS are different, but I already explained that. <laughs> and then Walt, Hello Waldman said, yes, I am aware. Let me rephrase this part since I guess readers may get confused between them. And then Weasel said this, I think some USB LTE GSM um, modems still use NDIS or RDNS uh, necessitating the USB mod uh, e-switch tool in Linux environment. Alright, well, that's it in a nutshell, but, you know, I think I think they should have, um, I think they should have, uh, you know, Instead of getting rid of it, create an off and on switch like an enable, disable. Enable it if you need it. Disable it if you don't. And that way you can keep going. You know, because if, if it's still being supported on some on some some OS, then model 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 have on have a uh, enable slash uh, disable uh, switch. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, little Star Wars, Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Go. Peace.